Okay, hello people, this is uh, Josiah Smith. I, uh, I'm going to try and take this opportunity uh, to uh, do a quick uh, video tour of the systems on the boat and uh, modularly how they uh, interact with one another. Uh, uh, so, uh, now that I have it outside, I actually do that. But I'm trying to beat the weather as this whole project has been uh, all about, it seems like. So, uh, this sort is of a challenge. Alright, uh, so, of course, uh, this is my uh, solar panel array. I don't know if I ever really got to do a good close up of it, but they all butted up against one another. I was able to use the router to uh, route out channel down through there and then chop the boards up uh, in half and use some leg screws to uh, affix them together so that allows me to use wrenches or sockets pretty to rather uh, quickly interchange panels if need be um, and then I just used a radial arm saw uh, to uh, cut these little grooves for the uh, wires to come out of um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, that actually worked rather well. Um, you know, the main concern there is to get these things lined up properly. Uh, but other than that, uh, it worked pretty well. So, uh, just, you know, made some funky screw adjustments. These are, um, uh, one by twos, and, uh, this was originally a two by two, uh, but uh, <laughs> now it's closer to two one by twos. Um, but uh, all right. Uh, so under my cool sign here, <laughs> the brilliant butterfly, uh, name of my boat uh, is all the wires coming from each individual panel. Um, they go into these diodes and into these little uh, joiner Y connector things which I insulated with liquid tape and uh, this uh, rectifies each individual panel uh, so that if one panel is generating more than another it won't be dissipating any energy over the other one uh, and the same with uh, if the battery is uh, higher than the panel itself it won't be dissipating power again um, so uh, but yeah, the, basically it all condenses down to these two wires here, which go into the battery box. Uh, this is um, actually a bigger battery box than the one I used on race day. Uh, but basically my legs went on either side of the battery box. Uh, and with the smaller one that worked pretty well. Um, I got my air horn and rope and... A uh, fire extinguisher. <laughs> I didn't. No one needed that, thankfully. Um, and then, uh, but yeah. And then also uh, joined to this battery uh, is the cables that go from the uh, trolling motor controller, which I did indeed uh, get to move to this pulley system. Um, Unfortunately, since it's on the trailer, I can't lower this pulley thing all the way because that motor hits that crazy thing there. But, um, but I can show you the uh, the motor controller stuff. Yeah, I ended up stapling <laughs> the uh, cable to the uh, to the pulleys. Um, because, uh, uh, otherwise it'd be much more prone to slipping off. Um, but yeah, let's see. This is, uh, pretty simple. Well, all it had was a, uh, multi-position switch in here that would, uh, short together, uh, different, um, Uh, different connections uh, with another one and uh, so uh, 
what I have here is this multicolored wire is the lead for all of the various coils that it turns on and off and then this is the main power lead uh, the common lead uh, I'm kinda guessing here really I didn't have enough time to electrically check it all out but it seemed to uh, seem to work pretty good and uh, what I ended up doing was I just used these little uh, these uh, little connectors um, little tab tongue and uh, and uh, gripper connectors I don't know what their technical names are but uh, those connectors uh, were what was inside of this so basically I made it modular again where I can just snap off either end of the cable and put the box right back onto the top of the thing right there so that's pretty nice uh, that has that sort of uh, flexibility so if my steering system ended up being a complete failure I could have still just sat right there and steered it like that which is what I ended up doing in the test run because my uh, pulley system slipped off and then later my dad was driving uh, rather adventurously I suppose uh, it's really hard to get him to drive <laughs> uh, a little uh, a little more uh, I don't know with less g-forces vertical leaps and etc uh, but uh, yeah so the original coupling we had made for this thing had broken off and so I had to replace that day before race day that was interesting uh, but, uh, yeah, all in all, my dad and Colin were very, uh, very helpful, very, uh, I very much appreciate their assistance in the project, um, and, uh, yeah, this is a trailer I borrowed from a friend, and that's part of why I need to, uh, disassemble some of the stuff off the boat, is because we need to return it to them. Oh, but yeah, I suppose I have an opportunity now that the light is a little better uh, to go ahead and show you uh, the new prop. Now, it looks greenish uh, because <laughs> I ended up running into some seaweed and stuff, so that was interesting. Algae, seaweed, all manner of uh, disgusting sea life type stuff that uh, is not supposed to be on a motor. Um... But yeah, basically this hole here is what I ended up modifying. Uh, I drilled that through, filled stuff with epoxy, and uh, I tapped the shaft in the this motor shaft uh, so that it would uh, accept a, a bolt, uh, a hex head bolt, you know. So. Um, you know, so I could use like the Allen key type thing in there. <laughs> now it's pretty sweet, um, cause it's 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 a heck of a lot cleaner than than even the commercial offerings where they have this weird like they have this weird little thing down here. So I'm not entirely sure what that that's about. But that's uh kind of what uh what happens. Uh, oh yeah, maybe one more thing. I got, uh, this is the, uh, we were regulated to use this type of battery here. I didn't end up using this one, though I did buy it with that intention in mind. Uh, because the, this one, even I bought it too late and it wasn't charged. So, <laughs> oh well. Um, but yes, uh, that's, uh, pretty much, uh, everything. Uh, uh, so, I will, uh, see everyone, uh, uh, later. Alrighty.